Okay, and now we're into the part that, of course, everybody cares about when they're playing a game, is the score. How are we going to keep a score while we are playing the game? So to start off with, we're going to go into our game stats because that's where the game score is. It's a game stat. And we're going to come down here to reset stats because anytime that we reset a stat, uh, we want the score to go back to zero. So we're going to go self dot score equals zero. And there we go. Now, anytime we reset our games, our score goes back to zero. We can go ahead and save that. And now let's talk about how to make a scoreboard, how to make a score and keep track of it. We are going to create a new file. So we need to create a scoreboard. So I'm going to come down here to Alien Invasion, create a new file, and I'm going to call this scoreboard.py. And to begin with our scoreboard.py, we are going to import our pygame.font. And then we'll create a new class. called scoreboard. And this scoreboard class is going to represent a class to report scoring information. All right, so what are we gonna do first? Of course, we're going to define in it or initialization class right. and of course not only we're going to send it a self but we're going to send it an AI game just to keep all of these components connected together with each other so this initialization will initialize keeping attributes and so what's the first thing we're going to have well we need a self dot screen and of course that is going to equal our AI game dot screen we're going to need a self dot screen rectangle underscore rectangle Gave me some problems last time. And of course, that's going to be AI game. Oh, sorry, we'll just go self dot screen. We can get it directly from the self dot screen uh, dot get rectangle. And once we have that, we can develop our self dot settings which will be come from the AI game at settings. And last thing, self dot stats, which will come from our AI game dot stats. So again, all these attributes uh, coming from the AI game and initializing them within the scoreboard allows us to kind of keep track of everything that's happening within our own program, uh, keeping everything consistent and working well together. So the first thing we're gonna do here is create a font setting for our scoring information. And so we'll do the self.textColor and we'll set this equal to a dark gray, 30 comma, 30 comma, 30. And then we'll do self dot font to equal a pi game dot font dot sys font. And again, we're going to set it to none just to be consistent with the other fonts that are here 
and we'll do a size of 48 for now. And this you can play around with. If you want it to be a different size, that's fine. Um, doesn't matter too much. And the last thing we're going to do here is prepare the initial score image. This is an I. Okay, so uh, in order to do this, we're going to use self dot prep score. And again, we don't have a prep score method yet, but you see where we're going with this. We are going to define one now. So our prep score will take a self. And what this is going to do is it's going to turn the score into a rendered image. And how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to create the score underscore string. And that is going to be equal to the string method in which we'll, we'll capture self.stats.score, right? So our self.stats.score, remember we created that in our settings, our, yeah, in our game stats, excuse me, and we set it equal to zero. That is a number, and so we're gonna turn it into a string and we'll store it as a string score, score string, because that is what the pie game uses to render in images. It needs a string, but the score is technically currently a number. So we just have to convert it to a string so that everything works well. And then we can create the self dot score image. And we'll set that score image. We'll set that equal to self dot font dot render and we'll take the score string as one argument and true as the second argument again to make it look a little nicer self dot text color as a third argument and self dot settings dot background color. As the fourth setting. Okay, a lot going on in there. That defines uh, what we're doing. We create a string from the actual score. We then turn that into an image using the render method. And then once we're doing, done doing that, we want to display the score at the top right of the screen. And how do we do that? By saying self uh, score rectangle will equal the self.score image uh, hit rectangle and then the self.score rectangle dot right again we care about the right side of that rectangle being the same as the self dot screen rectangle dot right minus 20. So we'll move it over just a little bit back to the left. So we don't want the score to be exactly on the right side. We'll just move it back about 20 so that it's offset, gives ourselves a little bit of a margin of 20 pixels. And then we just need to set 
our top, right? So we know where to put it on the right side, but where, where is it going to be located on the left? So self.score rectangle dot top will equal 20. So 20 over from the right, 20 down from the top seems to put it in a good location. So now that we have uh, created a way to prepare our score, we still need to have a function to show our score. So we'll, we'll define that, show score, and that gets a self as well. And this is just simply going to draw score to the screen. And we can do that pretty easy with self.screen. Blit. And we'll send it the self.score image. And we'll send it the self.score rectangle as the arguments for that. Okay. There is our scoreboard.py. We initialize its initial settings. We create uh, some fonts and and then we prep the score, we sh and that's how we define that here. And then we show the score. But the question is, where are we going to call this show score? Because until we call the method, it's, it's not going to show up anywhere. So let's go ahead and save this. And then we're going to go back over to Alien Invasion. And... Before we can call the show score, it's a method of a scoreboard object. So we need to create an actual scoreboard that can call this method. But to make a scoreboard, we are going to have to import. So from scoreboard, we're going to import a scoreboard. Now we can make scoreboards and so let's go ahead and do that within the initialization. Um, after we set up the caption, we can just go ahead and throw that in right here. And we will draw the score information. Oh, sorry, before we draw the score information, let us create an instance to store the game in. Uh, and create, oh, that's why. Let's take that out. Game statistics and score. There we go. That's why I wanted to put it in here. So after we do, uh, we create the stats, we're just going to come in here and we're going to create self dot scoreboard and that's going to equal a scoreboard providing it with the self which is the AI game we just created okay so there we go now we can come back up here and we can uh, actually let's do this down here in the update screen. So the initialization creates the scoreboard, right? And then when we update the screen, that's when we want to get a little bit ahead of myself. Here's our update screen here. And we can go ahead and put uh, right down here, before we draw the play button, we can uh, draw the score information. All right. And so we'll do self.scoreboard.sb.show 
score. And there we go. Now we can, we'll have a scoreboard drawn to our screen when we run this. All right, let's find our Okay, so looking here, it's telling us that uh, our scoreboard object has no attribute stats. Looking at line 11 in the scoreboard, so if we scroll up to there, yeah, here's a mistake. I said self.stats plus AI game.stats because I was hitting the shift key. It should be equals. There we go. We'll save that. We'll come back and let's give this another try. And there we go, much better. And there you see the score is now displayed in the upper right hand corner and we are ready to go. All right. So. On our next video, we'll look at how to actually keep score and how to update this score as we're shooting down aliens. So we'll pick up there on the next video.